Greetings, Playmaker fans. Just a short video about RPC calls. So if you've ever sent an RPC with Photon Pun 2 using the Photon View RPC Broadcast FSM event, you'll see there's lots of targets um, and lots of events. But if you've ever noticed trying to use these, it actually tells you there's a limitation here. So on RPC targets, you can do all, you can do others, you can do master client, all buffered, others buffered. I think all these technically work. I've never tried the servers though. But event target, you can only do um, game object or broadcast all. I don't think any of the other ones work. Um, yeah, so um, here what we're going to do is uh, a lot of times, and myself included, we, we want to be able to send an, an event just to a specific game object, but it never seems to work even though we already have the option here. And so I was actually going to write a custom action because several people were asking me about it. And as I was reading the original script of this action, um, I noticed that it was looking for a specific component. So here I have three objects. I have this sphere. And um, the sphere has a photon view, all right? Um, we're not gonna be able to do anything with an object without a photon view over the network. All right, and these aren't instantiated, these are already in the scene. Um, this one here, the cylinder, it has, does not have a photon view, it just has something called a Playmaker Photon Game Object Proxy. Um, now, this is required for any game object that you're going to instantiate. Uh, if you try to instantiate a game object, it's not going to let you if you don't have that. Or at least it won't let you instantiate it from an FSM or something like that. Um, so you've probably seen this component before. And then this cube has both a photon view and a Playmaker Photon Game Object Proxy. So let's go into my logic here. Um, on the left hand side, we're just connecting. And then I am going to broadcast an event. So here's one that's going to target just the sphere game object. I'm going to have one that's going to target just the cube game object and one that targets just the cylinder game object. But we're actually going to do sphere, cylinder, cube. All right, so let's hit play and we'll see this briefly connect. There we go, we're connected. All right, so um, if you don't know this trick, when you have a global event or even um, connected states, like if I had another state down here, I could alt click. Like if I was here, I could alt click and transition to this one since they're connected. Um, you can do the same thing, alt, left click, and I'm going to go into the sphere state, alt, left click, boom. So I went into the sphere state, it's broadcasting this event to the sphere, it's supposed to be sending the event change color. If we go look at the sphere, it, it's nothing's happening. And the reason that is, is we have a photon view, but we don't have the photon game object proxy, which that RPC action is looking for. If we go to the cylinder, it does have that uh, game object proxy. But if we go back to my logic and I try sending it to the cylinder, see, cylinder, nothing happens. In fact, you get uh, an error, a null object reference error, um, because it doesn't have a photon view. So our cube, which is set up properly, it has a photon view and a Playmaker Photon Game Object proxy. So if we go to our logic and I send this global event by alt clicking, boom. Now we can see that that event was sent. If we go look at our cube, we can see it received the change color event and set it to purple. So <clears throat> please comment down below if you have tried something like this and you've watched this video and it's still not working. Let me know um, what setup you have or reach out to me in Discord. But um, I think this is the biggest issue a lot of folks have been having, including myself. Why can't I target a game object? Well, you must have, like this cube has, you must have a photon view on it and you must have a photon game object proxy. Um, let's try one more thing here. So I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna set up a new type of game object that I just thought of. All right, we're back. And as you can see, I've added a child cube here on top of our other cube. All right, and if I go into my logic, I added a new uh, state for the child cube. And so it's going to target just this child cube. It's the exact same event. Now on this child cube, I have a game object proxy I do not have a photon view um, because a lot of times um, children and their parents get confused if they both have photon views, at least I have seen. All right, so let's go here to the logic. Let's come in here and let's go ahead and try send to this. And as you can see, if you send it to the child, the parent is also going to receive it. All right, just for fun, Let's take this child cube and let's remove its proxy and let's see if it works. Okay, so let's go back to our logic. All right, 
we're connected. So now let's see if we can send it to this child cube. And we can't. So that proxy is super important. Um, without that proxy, um, targeting the game object doesn't work. Uh, now keep in mind, you can't send an event to a child. I mean, we could change the event name and it'll work, right? So if I go to my child cube, um, let's, let's do, can I paste the template? Uh, wait, FSM. I'm using templates to make this easy for myself. Uh, I forget if there's a way for me to transition to it to not be the template or not. But anyways, I, you get the idea. If I come in here and if I make this a different event, it's obviously not going to impact the parent. The reason that the parent was getting it and using it is it was the same event name. So that would be the one thing to think of is if you're sending events to children, make sure the parent doesn't have the same event unless you want them to both be impacted by it. All right, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.